Research from Byron Sharp suggests that one of the single most important things that you can do as a marketer is maximize reach. Reach as many people as possible because that's where you're going to get the greatest potential market share. And it would seem like it's pretty easy to do, but it's actually much more tricky than you might think. So in Facebook, you create a campaign with brand awareness as the objective. It's pretty straightforward. And then you go down to optimization and delivery, and you make sure that you're optimizing for reach. So it seems pretty simple. Facebook should automatically use your budget to reach as many unique people as possible. But it's a little trickier. So let's go through an example. I had a campaign for brand awareness, and I created numerous ad sets with different targeting methods. So for some, for example, I used lead and force to use more sophisticated custom audience targeting. I used it to target people, for example, that like certain pages. And then I decided, no, I want to go bigger, so I'm going to go with the broader targeting, which is essentially what Facebook allows with interest targeting. So this would be one of the broadest category targeting that there is. And, and then I even added more targeting to expand the group. So going after people that belong to certain schools, I included not just US English, but also UK English. And you can even see here that the audience definition uh, is fairly broad. So it's in the middle between specific and broad, and that the estimated audience size is between about three and four million people. So when you look at this, it might put your mind at ease. Oh, I'm going to reach a few million people. Great. That's a big enough audience. But in reality, empirically, you can see that this campaign has been running since September 1st to December 10th. I've only reached 46,000 people. So you might think, well, I, I, I'm just not spending enough money. But that's not true, because if you look at the frequency, it's already over one. It's almost at one and a half. So I'm already reaching the same people multiple times within the budget that I have. So it's not really a budget issue. It's a reach issue. Now, fortunately, with Facebook, we have this a very large user base and a very active user base. So people are logging into Facebook quite frequently. This is going to be a much bigger challenge when you're using something like LinkedIn that people might only use once a month. And what's going to happen there is it's going to be far more likely that you cannot reach unique people. You're going to end up reaching the same people multiple times. So Facebook is actually one of the channels where you're most likely to maximize reach to avoid this problem. But one of the reasons that I switched to Facebook was because I was becoming overly optimistic about these audience size numbers. In fact, I was only able to reach around 50,000 people using YouTube ads. And you can see that empirically, that's ultimately what ends up happening here with Facebook. So there are a couple of lessons here. One is don't just rely on the total audience number, because um, for one reason, you don't know how many of these people are going to be active or how competitive it's going to be to reach some of that audience you want to look at the estimated daily results. So you can see here that the estimated reach is between 1,000 to 4,000 per day. So then you can map that out over several months to see what your estimated reach would be. And most social media platforms are going to provide some version of this. The other key lesson here is you don't want to obsess over granular targeting. A lot of marketers get into this granular engineering exercise of figuring out, oh, let's target this group and that group, and let's create a custom audience here and a retargeting group there. And uh, we're going to retarget people based on engagement. We're also going to retarget people that visited the website. What ends up happening is you just get a smaller and smaller audience, and you're doing a lot of work without a lot of yield. So even in a case where I'm just straight up trying to reach as many people as possible, it's actually very difficult to even hit a million. So at the end of the day, what may end up happening is you just end up expanding the audience that you're hitting. So adding more and more criteria here, getting looser and looser with your definition of who your target audience is. And even though this may produce a lot of wastage, the economics works out such that you s it's better just to reach more people, even if a higher percentage of those people are not actually prime targets for your product.